I'm pitch side here with Jan Kukowski after Hereford's 1-0 victory. Your thoughts on that game overall? Yeah, very strong performance. Um, I thought in terms of our attack and play, we were excellent today. We created a lot of chances, um, switched the play ever so well. Uh, and I thought that it was just, in general, really, really you know, expressive performance in terms of players playing with you know, free-flowing ability um, and that forward mindset, which is excellent. How important was it to take the game by the scruff of the neck? Because I thought you came out really brightly. Yeah, uh, that was one of our, our main points um, in terms of our preparation for the game. Uh, and we spoke about that in the change room beforehand. You know, there's been a couple of home games here where we've not started well enough, we've not started fast enough on the front foot. And today we did that, um, created two early chances and their keepers put off a fantastic save. And then Ryan Lloyds had a, a header cleared off the line. So um, the players delivered that fast start for us um, and then managed some tricky moments at times where Katerin um, hits on the break a couple of times. Um, but on the whole, it's a really, really pleasing three points. How important was patience as well? Because you were denied a couple of times. I, think it was, I suppose it's sometimes it's easy for the players to get a bit dissuaded by that. Yeah, that was key. Uh, we looked at them statistically. Uh, I think we've only conceded one goal in the last six games. So defensively, very, very strong. Difficult to break down. Um, but the amount of chances that we created, um, and on another day, we probably could have had three or four. Yes, yeah, uh, a question is stretching them as well, I thought, down the flanks. Yeah, well, you've got the pace of Miles Story and the pace of Ryan McLean uh, and then the trickery of, of Jack Holmes. Um, that's a, a real threat in terms of a front three. So um, I think if those three come up against any back four in this division, they're going to cause them, them defensive problems. You brought Jamie Egan back into the club, as it were, on loan from Bristol Rovers. How did he feature today? How well did he play, do you feel? Yeah, well, I know he'll be delighted with his clean sheet. Um, he was part of a, a defensive display in terms of a back four and, and goalkeeper um, that did what they needed to do. I thought Aaron Holloway was magnificent again. Um, and I thought he really looked after Jamie in terms of um, making him settled into that back four. Um, I thought Jamie's in-possession play was outstanding in terms of linking play into midfield and into the centre forward. Um, and it's a you know, really good second debut for him. And Dino Visser at the end. Um, late, late chance for Kettering, but he kept it out. Yeah, absolutely fantastic save. Uh, and that's what you need, your goalkeeper to stay highly concentrated for the full 95 minutes. Um, and, and he's stepped up like all the boys have done today in their moment. And that was his moment. And important for you that players are coming back from injury. Jared Hodgkiss was named on, on the bench as, uh, as well today and Zach Lilly uh, has been out for a while. Yeah, it's fantastic. Lads are chomping at the bit to get back in. Um, they, they see you know, how we're working and, and how well the, the team are doing. They want to be part of that. So um, we had a nice bonus with Zach Lilly uh, being declared fit this morning. Um, so that meant that he came on the bench instead of myself, which was nice. Um, and then uh, Jared, again, was um, surprised to get him through training on Thursday. Um, but again, it just shows the professionalism of those two boys that they've got back quicker uh, than we first thought and, and the way that they've done the extra work away from the football club to, to be able to be available for selection. Now, three wins from the last four games. That must give you real positivity. And this looks a huge game in prospect now on Tuesday away at Chorley, who are in the last playoff place. Uh, and you're just four points behind them. Yeah, look, the, the group set targets at the start of the year and, and they haven't changed. So we will try and finish as high as we can in the division. Um, it, it, it's, it's obviously Chorley uh, on Tuesday night and it's a tough place to go so we'll, we'll prepare the boys as best we can um, we'll be going there to win but if we can't then we look to bring someone home with us uh, The players that are on the fringe not quite get, getting in there um, is that competition helping you on the training ground? Yeah, we, we've not had many bodies to, to train on the training ground because of the injury um, list at present but as you mentioned before that injury list is, is slowly becoming smaller and smaller um, and that only helps the competitive element and competitive edge in the squad so yeah those boys on the sideline and the lads not even involved will be pushing strongly um, to try and get get the shirt back um, so the lads that are starting at present have got the advantage and it's up to them to, to keep that shirt. Could be a bit too early for Oren I think he says he's, that knock it might be next Saturday before he can play. Yeah he, he twisted his knee um, against um, Chester on Tuesday night and um, that's the reason why we brought Jamie Egan in because we would have been really, really light um, in that part of part of the pitch. So um, he's been absolutely outstanding for us this season, and we hope to have him back available for selection very soon. Well done today, and see you on Tuesday. Thank you very much. Can we ask you a little bit now about your assistant manager? Was it the first time you'd seen the players today, or had you seen them in training? Yeah, uh, no, he's he's he watched the game on Tuesday night um, against Chester. Um, I was quite keen for him to do that, uh, and then also uh, he's had access to previous games, um, and we film all of our training sessions anyway. So he's been keeping a close eye on that. He's very diligent in his work um, in terms of watching game tape and then obviously listening to my thoughts on the players and, and the group as a whole. So um, he's done his homework uh, and he contributed massively today. So um, we'd like to thank him for his efforts as, as well as the players today. And has he said anything since the game to you uh, today? In particular. 
about the performance? Yeah, look, he, he spoke in the change room after. I think it's really important that um, he's coming in and, and I want him to be heavily involved. He's got a magnificent experience over, over 30 years of coaching, um, you know, close to 15 years in the, in the senior game, as well as development in terms of academy uh, coaching. So um, he's been very much involved in um, the way that we've played today in terms of you know, the tactical tweaks that we had and, and those ideas shared between me and him. Um, and he's been voicing that before the game, at half time and after. Um, can we just go back to Jamie Egan for a minute? Um, did you make the call to Bristol Rovers early, just after the Chester game, in, like the day after, as Oren was injured? Yeah, um, Aaron Nesbeth, the physio, notified me that Oren would be struggling for training on the Thursday, um, and we didn't have another a fit centre half at the club at the time. Um, I know Levy can play there, um, but I, I like him more in the right back area to use his pace and power in terms of that forward thrust for us. So I felt it necessary to to bring Jamie in on loan for a month. Um, and look, Jamie comes in, he keeps his clean sheet. At the moment, he's got the shirt, so that's that's the game, unfortunately. You're welcome. Sure, yeah.